All right, so uh, today what I did was I didn't really go to uh, shopping. I didn't go to any sales. I went to my antique mall, and the guy there uh, knows that I do flea market. So what he does is uh, he gets a lot of toys. And uh, what he does is the toys that aren't worth much, the toys that sell for a few dollars, uh, have little imperfections and stuff. Because he'll load up his showcases with, with 10 15 20 dollars toys. The ones that are worth a few dollars, you know, he throws them in buckets and doesn't care what happens after that. Because there's always something in there that, or, or enough of anything in there that will pay for, for the, the, the collections that he buys, right? Now, for me, that's a good deal because I do flea markets. So I want toys that I can sell for a few dollars to kids. Stuff. So this bucket, while I was at the antique mall, putting stuff together and whatever, uh, I bought. And I paid 100 bucks. And I think it's going to be... I didn't even look at it, really. Um, it's pretty loaded. I think it's going to be a good deal uh, in the long run. I mean, I don't know if I'll get my money back quickly or whatever. But it's a mix of all different things. Now, the first thing I bought, I'll show, wasn't actually even a toy. I bought this from the showcase. And this is just a really, really pretty vase. And uh, when I bought it, I thought it was probably signed art glass just by looking at it in the case. And it was half price. So it was only like, they had it for 25 and then half price. It, that made it 1250 and I would have paid the 25 at a flea market because I, I just like the way it looks. It's actually it's it's very light. A lot of times this this new studio art glass is heavier, uh, but I couldn't find the signature when I first bought it. Uh, but there is a signature there, and it's uh, and basically it was underneath that label. I don't know if you can see it, but what I'm reading is Joe. It looks like Joe Matson, uh, J-O-E-M-A-T-T-S-O-N. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, let me see if I can angle or flares. All right, maybe you see that. I don't know. Um, so that I bought from showcases. They actually have some good deals there. I mean, especially if you're if you're buying to keep. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort these. By what? I'm going to the flea market this weekend. I'm going to Wayne Powell in case you want to find me there. And uh, I'm going to sort these by what I think will be good for the flea market. And this, I don't know, maybe his, his thing is there. That I'm not going to do. Now, this, is, this looks to be some kind of accessory. Let's see. Okay, this, this must be a wrestling accessory or something. It's made by Jax. I'm going to save that because at the flea market, I don't know if they'll buy that. And what I'll do with those is I'll make those uh, accessories. Uh, I think I, what I'll do, on, I, I think I'll put accessories and parts on eBay in lots to help me get some of my money back on this stuff. Um, this guy's beat up. He's got a button on his side, but I'm going to take him out to start. You know, And then what I'll do is I'll thin out the stuff that's beat up or doesn't sell or I'll sell them in a lot when we get near the end. Here's a Star Wars dude. He's missing uh, part of his saber. Oh, uh, here's a skirt. It's a fancy skirt. It goes around the waist. Uh, what's this? This looks like an old Barbie. But I don't think it is. Let's see. Okay, if this were Barbie, she'd be marked on the back. So probably... The, the hand-knit sweater has more value than that doll. Uh, hmm. I'm assuming this is Planet of the Apes. So. TM. You know, who cares? I'll just put that there. Uh, so I'm just going to go through these wrestlers and show them. I'll try and be quick. Again, they seem if there's any really broken or screwed up, this bucket is freaking heavy. Uh, he's say this guy has a problem. He's missing his hair, so I'm gonna put that for parts. Yeah, I might make a a lot of just parts and accessories. I guess. Let me see. I'm trying to be comfortable as possible doing this. 
This is gonna take me a while. I don't feel like being on my knees. Insert coin here. Yeah, see, this is obviously an accessory. Uh, it's so funny how these guys get twisted all the way around. So it's like they got butt abs. <laughs> the, the butt must the glute abs. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, you know what? I'm I'm basically dick screwing around. Let me try and go a little faster. See, there's so many of them are just twisted right in the hat. I've had a lot of these, and actually, they're in pretty good shape. If they did come from collections. If uh, there's anything in here that's worth more than like $10. No, actually, say like $15. And anybody wants to give me the heads up, that'd be fine. Um, this is a pretty good looking dine, um, dragon, but he's missing legs. This is a pretty cool dinosaur. This all, this all just sells a dinosaur. I don't know. I'm going to say Tonto, even though not every Indian action figure is going to be Tonto. I, I, I just, maybe I don't know. Okay, this doesn't look like a wrestler. Hmm. No, let me pull out that gorilla until I know for sure. That looks like Planet of the Apes. So stuff that's not wrestling, I'm just going to pull out. That's wrestling. What? <laughs> I did not pose that that way. <laughs> like, what the hell? All right. Okay, it appears to be a lot of wrestlers. Surprisingly in decent condition. Some of them have knee pads. Okay, obviously not a wrestler. Is that his pose? That's his wrestling pose? Dudlam Death... Du <laughs> That's his signature move. Okay... Since the guy wants to give you a big bear hug. What is this? Hmm. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Figure it out later. Stuff like this. Accessory. Now, at the flea markets, I'm going to sell these for... Uh, normal for me is since these are pretty clean. I'm actually, I'm gonna put the clean ones in here. I'm gonna start off four, three for ten. Let's see what happens. I might do three, two for five. I don't know. Beats me. I don't know. This, this. Yeah, okay. I'm not counting. She a wrestler. That could not be good for her back. Let's see. All right, if I don't know, I'm just going to stick them in this other box. That guy looks weird. Dudley boys. Uh, this guy looks like Namor. Or, uh, or Aquaman. The older Aquaman. Not the new Aquaman from the movie. CW. Of course, you know this means war. Alright. This guy has that, the ab stuff. And, and the uh, Jordache jeans. <laughs> this guy's got a lot of stuff going on here. It's like he—he he looks like he's going 50 miles an hour, and he broke his back. 
so angry. Uh, let's see. Everybody knows who this guy is. John Cena. I have to learn more about wrestlers. I know I have to, I, I have a duplicate of this one. I just saw. Hmm. Right. Don't know what this is. Now, in that antique mall, they they get a lot of this stuff in. So, it's better for them to go high-end. I probably could have bought more. Oh, look. That's, that's McCoy. From Star Trek, I, I believe. I mean, I could be wrong. I probably am. Some of these poses. It looks like I'm going to easily fill. Hmm. Yeah, see that legs are broken. I don't know what I can do with those. I just want trash for now. Okay, this guy looks pretty gnarly. Okay. Uh, that's got to be Macho Man. Randy Savage. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I can sell these dinosaurs. I mean, not for a lot. I wish they were Jurassic Park, but some pretty good ones. Right now, I'm just sorting. Wrestlers are the easiest to take out. Nick is stiff, dude. Look what they did to John Cena's head there. That's better. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is this stuff Spawn or... Maybe it says McFarlane. Yeah, it's Spawn. Or spawn related says Todd McFarlane. Hmm. Okay. So it's a mixture of loose spawn. Maybe I can sell like a spawn parts a lot. This is wrestling accessories. Most people just want the figures. Um, I guess that's Vince McMahon. I need to watch more wrestling. Just so I can immediately identify. I mean, if I really get into anything, then I'll know and I'll identify. But I didn't really do toys like this so much. You know, I started off with antique stuff. And then I did video games because I really like video games. But I mostly like old school video games. So, it's harder to find the old school stuff now. And the middle school stuff isn't really selling. And the new stuff is getting screwed because of all this downloadable game content that they have now. Oh boy. What happened to you? Alright. Oh, cool. Scorpion. In case you didn't know, I'm a Scorpio. Uh, paper's blowing. Maybe when I'm done, I'll just stop the... Uh, I mean, I'll just count everything up. And I'll say how many figures I got for 100. It's definitely a good deal. And I'm sure they didn't pay that much for this stuff. Kid Heart. Hubba. Uh, hubba. Alright. Hope this isn't boring. 
I don't... If I saw any broken or missing parts, I would ditch them. And so far, I have not. They're all in good condition. You know, I'm very happy with this deal. I'm not going to get rich and make a lot of money immediately. So I'll hold the microphones, I guess. Uh... Some of these are so weird where the body turns different colors. So it was just a different way they made it. Oh, look. Can't bring me down. This guy looks little. Nice tats. All right. <laughs> okay. He's got the jacket. I don't know if AJ's gonna watch wanna watch this. I know they've been cherry picked AJ, so if there's anything in here. Uh, if anybody wants to tell me anything, that's obviously not a wrestler. I'm assuming that's Harry Potter. You can do a timestamp thing with me. Yeah, if you don't know what a timestamp is, you just say if I say at two minutes eleven seconds into the video. You write two minutes, 11 seconds, and then you tell me what you want me to see. All right. Yeah, so far I don't see any that are really broken. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's what I say. It's like, if you're going to make... I guess that's the rock. Uh, if you're going to make a painting, drawing, picture, whatever, of somebody, try and capture the best features, not the goofiest. <clears throat> Mr. B.A. Take out the trash. I guess this has to do with Spawn. Let's see. W.B.E. I don't know. Yeah, I'm happy with these because it's good flea market stuff. And when I was in Florida, I traded all my flea market stuff. That looks like our. No, that looks like the guy who plays Aquaman, but not not as Aquaman. The new movie. Um, when I was down in Florida, I traded. Hmm. When I was down in Florida, I traded all the wrestlers I had left. I had about 52 for a couple of consoles. I figured I had maybe $50 worth of um, wrestlers. And, no, I'm sorry. I had about $100 worth of wrestlers. So I traded about um, probably a little bit less. Than $100 worth of games and stuff. Or, or around $100. But I was fine because it's like... It's one big sale. If someone had been like... Uh, how much for all the wrestlers and stuff. I probably would have taken like... I had 52. I would have been like... Uh, just give me 50. If I wanted to. If I was desperate. You know, cash... Oh, oh look. Uh, I lost his hand. I was going to say... Is this guy from Game of Thrones? It's funny, the wrestlers are mostly holding up. Look at this guy. Nice plaid vest. Okay. I'm not looking really, really hard, but so far I don't see too many or any broken wrestlers. Soft pal. I got this big giant freaking bucket. There's not much I can do with a bucket of this size. Because what happens is it gets really heavy. Oh, there you go. First broken part. I will take this this out for now. Even though it's kind of messed up. And if it doesn't sell right away. American Hero. It's true. It's true. I got gold. How about you? Okay. Oh, look at this. 
Nasty boys. Janet Jackson, I don't like you. I have to call her Miss Jackson. Because you're nasty. Nasty boys don't mean a thing. Beep, 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 beep. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's not a great facial expression. Boombox, nice. Load of the hunker on that guy. Uh, have to go lucky. New Age Outlaws. I should just put everybody's name right where you can easily find it. Like on his arm or something. Part of the challenge. Who the hell are these guys? Property of J-O-B squad. You gotta get a J-O-B if you wanna be with me. The Ankh. You don't know what an Ankh is. Ankh is, it's an Egyptian cross. Brock. Brock Lesnar. I guess. Cheat to win. That's what most people do. Okay. I think I would... Is this just like the grave digger yard? Yeah, whatever. Scorpion. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Ooh, I think I see a little Spider Man in there. Little Spider Man, little Spider Man. Does whatever a little spider can. Anybody know what these red things are for? It's like, is it a blood bubble? <laughs> Took a real bad hit in the ribs. Someone told these, told me that these ab crunchers are can be worth a little bit more. I don't know. I haven't checked. There's a rock. Rocks are easy to sell. Look at this guy, dude. Love. Oh, have mercy. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I'm pressing the lever and his arm slightly moves. Okay. W-O. He's got the butt back. Butt front. Yeah, there's a lot of wrestlers here. Like the same guy I just picked up. Some kind of accessory. Probably got to get a bigger bucket for the accessories. Uh, Vince McMahon. <laughs> Getting better teeth. What's this? DX Generation. Uh, you know, I know who this is. I uh, can't remember though. Oop, somebody's hair. I'll put him in a box. I actually have a lot of wrestlers right now. This guy. This guy. This guy. And this guy. Hmm. He looks like a lion or something. Looks like he was meant to be on a base of some sort. I don't know what that is. Simon. This is taking long, I guess. 
Oh wow, 24 minutes. This is gonna be a long video. All right, let me see if I can speed it up a little bit. Last commentary. We'll do two at a time. Or, or not. Mostly this is, you know, I hate doing stuff twice. So one of the reasons I'm not going very quickly is because I'm inspecting them for broken pieces and parts. So just bear with me, I guess, you know, because if I do it too quick, are you kidding me? Okay, that must be a ring announcer. <sighs> that looks like the third that everybody beats up. Well, that's fun. Okay, this goes here. There's somebody's leg. The rock. I believe it's going to take so long. I guess there's a lot in here. Like I said, I'll count them. And I'll tell you how many I have. I'm going to need a bigger box. Okay. guy's very he wanted to impress the other wrestlers he's probably looking for a raise or something you wear a suit something goes on that this guy I don't see anything wrong I don't see anything wrong oop my head You know, what's funny is a lot of times I get these and I put them in the bucket. I, I do this. I go through and make sure they're not too broken up. But then what happens is they get broken up. So they get a lot of damage. This guy goes here. They wind up getting a lot of damage. Oh, a Link. Oh, poor Link. He got effed up. This guy looks okay. He looks okay. He looks okay. This guy looks okay. He looks okay. He looks okay. That's the odd couple music, in case you didn't know. This video is going to be so demonetized. It's ridiculously long. Just let it run in the background. Please do not <clears throat> click over ads. Let them run. Go do something while the ads are running. So I can make more money from YouTube. Okay, I'm almost done. That's mysterious. I don't know. Get. Yeah, see, if I see hands and legs missing, I'm not throwing them in that pile. Yeah, this guy's flexible. What a mug. Tell me you didn't just say that. Well, hell yeah, I did. Dallas 316. I think this is a wrestler. Yeah, actually, there's a surprising amount of good condition wrestlers in here. 
So I'm going to do what I always do. You start off... Like, a little higher. Like $4, 3 for 10 And that's what I told the guy I bought it from. He's like, oh, you can sell these for like five a piece. I'm like, not really. Not at the flea market so much. And I said, what I do is I might start off at either four dollars three for ten or three dollars two for five right and then I let them cherry pick and then when they're done cherry picking I drop the price you know like you go to a mart like the first week I take them out say I do a hundred bucks I don't know if I will but let's just say I do right well then the second week I take them out and I do 50 bucks and I'm doing four dollars three for ten right well, if the third week I do 10 bucks, then I drop the price. Now they're $3 two for five, or $2 three for five. And then the fourth week, will definitely be $2 three for five. And then I'll leave them there for a little bit. And I'll see what happens. Depending on where I go, I might make them $3, two for five. And, and then I'll go lower if I have to. Even a dollar, or I'll just trade them. So, okay, yeah, that's, that's everything. That's not a wrestler. I'm gonna count these up, see what I got. And I'm gonna dump this stuff in that bucket. All right. Um, I finished counting everything up and just in the wrestlers I have 236 figures and then I have this 100 here 136 wrestlers here so not bad for a hundred dollars um, the hundred dollars I have will I will get in no way less than 200 and change so it's definitely a decent buy and the one good thing is like if you have like a high-end shop a lot of times you're mostly catering to collectors and high-end collectors and it's good to have like a place like a flea market to go and dump stuff um so there there's a, a place for everything to sell you can bring high-end stuff to the flea markets right but a lot of times high-end collectors don't go to flea markets um resellers do and regular people do looking for things you know just getting out it's like Instead of going into the city and spending $200 for the day, you go, hey, let's go to a flea market, look around. Maybe we can find something we could use. Um, this stuff is perfect for flea markets. And like I said, I'll probably, they're not, they're not in bad shape. I don't know, unless there's something great there that I don't know. Uh, I'll probably start these off $3, two for five. I, I have no reason to be grease, uh, greedy. So I'm just going to average $2 a piece for these, right? Um, because then I'll drop two, three, and plus I have that other stuff there. I'll just average, and I guess for my hundred, over time, I should very easily make at least four hundred. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get my money back this weekend, just on this alone. I have other wrestler stuff, too, though. Um, if you're looking for me, I'm going to be at Wayne Powell, all right? Wayne Powell, uh, I'll be, uh, it might rain, so I'm going to be in the front. I'll be on the inside. Anyway, um, I'm out of here. Goodbye. All right, uh, Friday, no sales that we want to go to that are around us that seem to be worth uh, shopping out. Not even really any estate sales, nothing, right? Well, they're too far, and I have to be back to work this afternoon. Yeah, and, and the chance that we'll get something's pretty slim, so this, we just well, don't Well, if really... we go tomorrow, there's a better chance of getting uh -huh. better deal. Because a lot of the estate sales around here, they refuse to... Negotiate, their yeah. Prices first, on day. The first day, very true. You so, know. and then by the second day, unless they're hoarding it for themselves, yeah, it's, it's better to uh, go the second day price wise. I mean, it's probably I mean, best to go both days. If also, you can. I'm not in because I do more of the jewelry, I'm not into like knocking elbows with uh, people over the jewelry because, yeah, yeah, some women are like crazy. Yeah, uh, so. we're well, not just women. I shouldn't say that. Pretty much, so, yeah. I, I mean, some pushy guys. a lot of competition. That, you know, that's part of it. So anyway, what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go to the showcase uh, place because I haven't been there in like a month, yeah. right? So, 
and I'll just put some stuff in. I just grabbed some stuff from around the house. <laughs> I didn't have time to really think about it. I've been doing other stuff. Uh, so I just went in and grabbed some stuff. So I'll just stick some stuff in the showcase. I know they'll have some uh, checks. I might have another check coming from them. You know that? Besides this for last year. Because they're like two or three weeks behind on their, their paint, the way that they pay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I might have another. It depends. I don't know if I sold much or whatever. It would be uh, nice to have sold something than yeah. paying rent for nothing. Yeah. No, well, I, I know we sold something. But I know we had sold something before we left or some things. So, Maybe we'll just see. I'll be able to figure uh, very close to how I did this year. You know, how much profit I made. However big or small. Um, yeah, so maybe while I'm at the showcase, I will f uh, film the cases and just... Uh, Maria will probably look around. We have a little bit of time to look around before we have to leave, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll I just... I found stuff there. Yeah, there. nothing too amazing. Uh, you know, I might... The last few times, when, they, when we first went there, I found some decent stuff. Yeah. I might mention to the guy, if I talk to him, I say, hey, I know you get all these, like, toy lots and whatever, and I know you put them in the store to sell. It's like, I do flea markets. You want to just maybe, uh, if you have too much of the stuff, sell me some wrestlers and well, toys. Well, he did that with the wrestlers once. Yeah, he did it I, once. I think that, uh... I mean, he might already have a, uh, someone that he can ditch toys yeah, to, but he might not because, you know, the way he sold me the wrestlers. Well, so I'll just mention that. they were there and you... Saw them and asked. Yeah. Since then, I haven't seen him put stuff out. No, like I haven't that. seen stuff like that. Because I just feel like maybe he regretted it after he did it. Like he I don't know. Made more money if he yeah, I could have made more money over time, but you know, maybe he didn't care. I just know that they cherry pick. Um, he's very good with toys. They know their toys, so obviously they take everything out that's worth more than a few dollars. But I, it's fine for me. I'm at a flea market, and I really only want to sell that kind of stuff for a few dollars. I don't want to be like, hey, how much is that wrestling figure? Oh, that one's really rare. It's uh, like a variation. I, I need 80 bucks. For it. I don't want to do that at the flea market. You know, I just want to like people come along. They want to buy some toys I, for their kids while the kids are like, you know, ah, I want to go home, you know, that kind of stuff. I want to have stuff like that. But okay, so that's what we're doing. That's about it today. Uh, not sure what's going on tomorrow. It's funny. We live in an area where there's like like tens of millions of people and houses and things like that. And nobody's having a, a moving or garage or <laughs> in our area. Nobody's moving. I think people just don't do it that way. Yeah. Well, this is not a, a time of year for people to be moving so much. No. Um, I mean, I look at every, like uh, I'll look at Facebook Marketplace. And mostly what I see is like... People like us trying to sell stuff for... Not people like trying to get rid of stuff so much. It's like people that are kind of in business. Yeah. You know? So, but anyway, that's what we're doing. We're on the way. Uh, dealing with a little bit of traffic, not too bad. And we'll get there soon. Bye. Here we are at the Antiques Collectibles Mall in Rochelle Park. It still looks like... Look, Tackle World. <laughs> it's like I said, there's a lot of fishing going on. I don't know. It looks kind of like... John is here. Oh, John, okay. Well, what's what's that on the side now? It's not the That's carpet? the flooring place. Or the carpet place. Oh, it is? It looks different. All right. Because, they, look, there's still, like, wood up inside. They're not done yet. Ugh. All right. Well, let's see what's going on. I'm, I'm going. I'll check my cases now. Okay. My first impression of the spot is that... You think there's some empty spaces? I know here, for sure. I don't know what I had over here. I need to neaten everything up. These are here. Actually, let me go through system? slow. Do you have a system? Yeah, I had systems. Oh, uh, you know, maybe I had a 64 over here. Yeah. I knew I would sell it, or I should have sold that. I priced it right. I'm just gonna show everything. And as I go through, I can't tell if I sold anything on this shelf. No, I, so. I can't tell if I sold anything on this shelf. See, I can't tell if I sold anything on this shelf. It would be annoying to me if I, all I only sell, ever sold is game stuff, you know? Does, nah, I didn't sell any of those. Alright, let me go this shelf. Like, there's a big empty spot. Whatever I had there is gone, gone, gone. Same here.
Looks like something was over here. I don't think I sold any of these glasses. Unless there was something there, maybe. Right in the front. Show this shit. I think that's Bjork singing right now. It's definitely Bjork. Uh, probably no monetization going on with this video. Alright, and then here. Somebody wanted to pay me nine bucks a piece for these. Did I sell one? Two, four, six. I think I sold one of these. Because I think I had, because I wouldn't have done that. Okay, that's what it looks like. They took stuff out, but they didn't place that in the back so people could see. Yeah, I know, I know. I could, they could have been a little neater. All right, well, let's open it up and put some stuff in. All right, I just went through my laundry basket of collectible antique stuff. And here's what I decided to bring. I just grabbed stuff yesterday. I didn't have, I've been busy. I've been doing stuff, mostly store and eBay related. Um, one of the things I'm gonna fit in this showcase is this pretty neat um, snail sculpture. And this is, by an artist who's relatively cont contemporary, and this is what she does. Her name is Judy Bomberger. You can look her up. Uh, she did this in 1999. I put, I think, 100. Yeah, I put 100 on this because I can sell this on a for about 100 on eBay, and it gives me some room to negotiate if someone wants to buy it from me here. Um, I can't figure out who made this, but it's it's basically an art deco to me uh, Vaseline glass which means it contains uranium uh, it's a decanter or like a, mar a tall martini or cocktail maker uh, or, um, the things in the middle are called rings I think and I tried researching like everything I just couldn't find this former shape so I said you know what some of the things seem to be worth about 75 and I ballparked it at 75 Don't remember what I paid for that. Uh, here's the thing for uh, massaging stuff. Uh, it's a Vivitone massager. It works. Uh, there's a, a few cracks in the cord, but it does work. Um, I did try it a little bit. <laughs> Not for too long on myself. Um, $15 is what I put on it. And I don't care who buys it or what they do with it when they buy it. Friedel. Friedel. Okay, I saw this at a sale. I, I believe I paid 20 or maybe $30 for it. It has a really nice Bakelite base. Uh, cherry red. And this is uh, an example of what you call brutalist art. I kind of like brutalist art. Um, so here, here it is. It's a signed Friedel. And the artist's name is William Friedel. And it is a brutalist flower. Oh, and I'm pretty good. How you doing? Good. I, I, I want. I'm back from Florida. I want to put 90 bucks on that, which is is fair. Uh, all of this stuff, if it doesn't sell here, I can put it on eBay. And the first step in me trying to sell this stuff is it went to the Rutherford Street fail. Uh, fail. Isn't that funny? In my head, I said Rutherford Street fail, and I did not fail that day. What happened was it rained, which killed the market, but I still did pretty good. That's so weird. Rutherford Street fail, and it was supposed to be sale. <laughs> good God. It's like my brain's trying to tell me something. All right. Um, booth G6. That's me. Unsigned Brutalist Trolley Train Sculpture. Unsigned again. Uh, there's something going on where the solder separated, but I don't think it affects it. I think it's actually kind of cool. It makes it look like, like it's going off the tracks a little bit. And I looked all over. Not signed. I still think it's pretty goddamn cool. This is definitely just sitting here until I decide to put it on eBay. Um, I'm working on perfumes right now, so I just don't care. You know, it's this has been in my house on display for quite a while. Now it's going to be here on display. <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. I had this in my house for a long time too. Uh, so how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, uh, let me ask you something. I want to talk to you for a second. Yeah, do you remember? All right, I'm back. Uh, 
I was I was doing deals. All right. So anyway, brutalist flower sculpture. I really like the music they're playing today. Shake, 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 shake. Anyway, um, this is really awesome. But again, it's unsigned. It's on a stone base. If I really, really tried, I could possibly attribute it to, uh, to someone. But I, I just, it's too hard. And it would just be me, like, guessing. Uh, look at the way this is made. It's all soldered together. Big, coppery brass leaves and the, the flowers. So, um... What I did was, I, when I can't figure out something for, sh for sure, and, and I want to just really just try and sell it, I just guesstimate and ballpark a price. On this one, let's see, it's not really showing up so well. Okay. Uh, I, I guesstimated $200. Again, it gives me room to go down. So again, look at it, a nice chunk of marble. There's so much work in here. And t personally, if you gave me $200 and a bunch of chunks of metal, and said, here, make this for me. I'd be like, man, it's not enough. Um, but that's how art is, you know. It's all subjective, how much time people are willing to, to put into it. All right, now the last thing I'm going to put in is I bought this camera, and it's an untested Rolleiflex SL26 camera with lenses. Now, this thing only takes 126 film, so I can't imagine anybody's going to be able to use this at all. Um, I don't even know if you can get 126 film anymore, but it does have collectible value and it does have two lenses with it. So if I put this, if I put this online, I could get as much as $200 for it, untested, whatever. Um, but I don't want to. I'd rather. I'm hoping that there's a camera guy in here because places like this always have camera guys. So what I'm really hoping is there's a camera guy. If there is a camera guy and it sells relatively quickly, I will start buying cameras. And selling them like I'll buy them cheap and I will sell them cheap in my showcase hopefully ca the camera guy will, will buy it if um, this goes and a camera guy looks at stuff I have and it, it's like they pass it up or it sits there too long I'll just put it on eBay for parts okay, happy New Year. anyway that's everything that I'm gonna put in today and we'll see how it fits so this is what I did all right uh, we added stuff. I don't think we changed this shelf much at all. On the shelf, I put the, I really like this this snail sculpture. It would probably be something I would keep if I had a better place to display it. I didn't, and I wasn't mostly collecting glass. But here it is. I think it's nice. I think someone might like it. What do you need? If you have a price sticker, I'll just put a price sticker. I don't. Uh, ask them for one tag. And they'll give it to you. They have them at the cafe because they need them all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just put like anything five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, all right. I don't think I changed this shelf much at all. I can put that on. If I get enough of those, I can put those online. You know, I have so much stuff. It doesn't even matter what I do with anything. Uh, do I have any interesting games here? Some of these games should be selling already. Wow, that Lone Ranger, I'm looking at it, it's like a $40 game. It's been here a long time. All right, so that's that. This has been here a long time. I should just stick these on uh, eBay when I have stuff I need to list. See, that's what it is for me. I'm just one person. I can't list everything. There's just way too much for me to get to, even with Marie doing. You know, she mostly likes jewelry. That's why I want to get help, you know, use the new store for that. Uh, oh, so uh, this shelf changed a lot, you know. I mean, this changed a little bit, but this one changed a lot. Um, I put the cookie jar down there. It really didn't need to be on the top. It was just big. Um, but I put the three brutalist sculptures together, and I added this guy. You can see me somewhere else. And then, um, again, we, we took all the... Fenton bowls that were on that shelf and, and put them over here. So uh, here's one of them. And then I don't think we changed much on this. You know, I wish I could sell that. I don't want to have to put that on eBay. Anything. Five to eight. I'd leave it to you. All right. Um, and then I, we didn't do anything with the shelf. This is like old crap. I don't care about. Um, I'm, did I sell one of these model kits? Yeah, I knew I did. So I'm trying. I paid seven fifty, 
a piece. And then I got one for a dollar. So I had uh, 15, 30, 45, 46 into them. I already made back at least 15 after everything. Added this camera set and then didn't really do anything here. All right. That's what it looks like now. Maybe we'll walk around or something. All right, one last minute addition to the showcase. This little guy here. All right, now we're ready to lock it up and walk around. That's cool. We like scented candles. He's looking at anything interesting? I just like, I'm zipping along. Ooh, 50% off. So if bracelets are 15. That's 30% off. Damn it. <laughs> That's my mind playing tricks on me. I, I want to see 50. So bracelets at 15 would be around 10. I don't see anything to. No, it's all stainless steel. Yeah. It's not what I'm interested in. I know. Cool pearls. Any good pins? Well, that's what I was looking at. We gotta be like uh, BBD, which is Blue Bus Dave. Hey, what's this? What is it? I don't know. This gold. Junky necklaces. Okay. I thought you like junky necklaces. So you're mostly looking for jewelry, right? No, I look for everything. I mean. Okay. There's other things. Book. Look at this vase. It's I like, like this. that mirror. Domo 15. Yeah, the mirror is nice and fancy, but that has flames. Mm. Just imagine that, like, shooting. And it's signed. It looks like Dana or Doma. Dano 15. Mm -hmm. Roseville. I, I mean, oh, no, Van Briggle. I'm a dummy. I should know that. This looks kind of new. Just the colors are weird. It would be brighter in olden days. Make glass. Gosh, I guess this is stoneware and clay. Anything in here? Yeah, we're just gonna take a quick look. So, as always, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. Sterling silver bracelet for $9 is a deal, so that's a nice bracelet. It is. It is. Not for me for resale, but somebody no. wanted a nice sterling bracelet. Definitely. $9. There's a lot of stuff in here for the right person. You know? Look at that alligator comb. Yeah, that's fun. That is fun. That's what I like about these places. There's so much stuff that's just like fun, fun, fun. Okay, that's Roseville, right? Damn it, McCoy. <laughs> I, I used to mess with a lot of pottery, but I haven't in a long time. So. These pewter figures. It's a nice wedding in Davis. That's not a bad price either. For the belt? No, that's not bad. Not for if you want it. Right. I st they really did a damage to those by dipping them. Yeah. Those Marcus type pins. They, it's like bleaching, you know? They just bleached them too much. Here's the candles again. Yeah. Uh, Boris. Can't give those away anymore. The cyan stuff. Yeah, it's gotten a little rough on those. Uh, but a nice bracelet. At least that's unique. Well, the black. You'd have to find... I've seen yellow enamel. I've yeah. I've seen bright blue enamel. Those I, I've are, seen those, yeah. The black enamel is too... Here's one that... Is that... No, that's not. That's Spanish. No. Okay. It's Mexican. The black enamel. They made too many. Yeah. All right, let me turn These this These mother of pearl spoons are cool. They're like baby spoons or for... They're for caviar. Oh, nice. Or salt spoons. Fancy, is that what it says? Yeah, caviar well, and salt. figure, mother of pearl, they're at sea, like, you know, and, and caviar is fish eggs. Yeah, that makes so. sense. Look at this. Look at this necklace, Marie. What? That necklace. It's not... Is that one piece? Um, it is, or I think it is. It's $125. That's not bad. That's not bad. Sterling. Yeah, that's like... That's a statement piece, honestly. You could be a rapper and wear that. Mm. Some nice pieces here. All that work that they did. Yeah, that's from all the construction. Yeah. 
I could, when you go in the back, yeah, it, look. I could feel it in my throat. <clears throat> I just ran my elbow over one of the shelves. Look, there's another pin with a goofy water carrier. Oh, but this one's in silver. Hmm. Mine's going to sell for a lot. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Mine's worth like 90, I think. Yeah, right. <laughs> you didn't I, price it there. I, I think I put it on at 30. 25 or something. You underpriced it. You, so. Because you're, you're, you have to wait for the person who wants it. Who's going to want to do it holding two buckets? I don't know. Who wants anything? You know, who wants this yellow hobnail it's picture? That, is that an eBay noise? Yeah, it's not an eBay noise. Boo! When people ask me questions. I had also put things in a cart and they want me to, pay, they want me to purchase them already. Oh, really? Yeah, but Tell them to go no, do something to themselves. Hmm. Um, These are cool. Little exorcist figures. This was like somebody got a hold of some Carol Lee stuff. But it's all new Carol Lee. Does Carol, Does Carol Lee... Lee sell for anything? Or... <laughs> Look at that. The work on that vase. Mm. That's really nice. It's that okay. wire work. No, that's nice. I can't imagine what Carly sells for. Lunchboxes. Oh, okay. Like lunch lunchboxes? Come here. Chuck Connors. Anybody remember Chuck Connors? Grizzly Adams? I think he died from eating too much tree bark. I think that was the guy. Ate all that tree bark. Captain Astro. What is this? Yeah, because they're not pricing it correctly. Let's see, let me take a quick look. I guess there's anything I want in here. Xbox One, but Connect. See, like, the jewelry here, this is like the same stuff that's been here forever. They, they don't sell jewelry. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's hard with jewelry. You know, people only buy what they really yeah, like. Covered that was from the construction for sure. I mean, next time I come here, what I'll do is I'll bring napkins and some Windex. You know? Genie. Super Mario cards. <sighs> What's this? Hit and wrestle. Plug and play. Uh. I'm not looking super hard. I don't recognize that extermination game. You know what? I'll look that up for fun. Let's see if that's worth anything. Okay. I'm going to do that now. The extermination game. Not a game I am familiar with. I don't know if I've ever had it. it seems to be worth about 12 bucks. So, I don't, you know. You know how much stuff I have already that's worth 12 bucks? 14 Oh, Funko. Making Thundercats. Oh, they can't be old. Uh, some wrestler stuff. I'm actually going to go look at some wrestling stuff. Or, no, actually, it's action figures. To this, I immediately recognize this Costa Boda. Uh, what are they like? Ten bucks a pop. I like this. 50% off. 25 bucks? Hmm. I'm just curious. It doesn't seem to have a lock on it. No, it does. I want to look at this. What is it? Uh, here. I can't tell if it's signed, but it's only, it's 50% off at $25. This one. I like it, I'll probably keep it. No? Well, uh, D15, case D15. Okay, all right. I'll walk the row, and then I'll remember D15. AJ, you just got some of those. I wonder how often Hulk is naked when you get him. Probably all the time. D15. Fifteen percent off. That's a weird amount. Fifteen percent off. D15. Did you look at this stuff? More Hulk. D15. D15. 
figures. You know what, let me go ask him to open that case. I did have three checks. Um, oh, I did good one period, 153, 3655. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I sold. You looked at the papers. I know you said I sold the pot belly set. Ugh. Pot belly still, you sold. The two on this. Oh, it's over 200. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's I told you. All right, let me put these here. Um, so I sold the Paris lighters. Boy, I had those a long time. But those were cheap. Uh, what was the most expensive thing I sold? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. You didn't really look at it? Uh, it doesn't Probably matter. Probably the video games. Some you sold for 60 bucks. That had to be the 64, because I know I had a 64 there. And I don't know if I sold another system or whatever. But, so I know I finished the year in profit. Because I paid 1100 for rent for the year. And, but I mean, it's not like I made a whopping, I don't think I made 2000 I might total out the year for maybe fourteen or 1500 So it's small profit, less than I really wanted. Um, but I'm starting the new year, so we'll see. It's what no I'm... profit. You're not including what you paid for the stuff. Well, well, you're only including the cost of the case. One thing I'm going to talk about is uh, finding and making a connection. Um, so he buys big lots of toys, right? They're a big place. People come in with a lot of stuff. So what I'll show in the beginning of this video is just a, a bucket of toys that I that I got. Um, that he just was like, I don't want this stuff. You know, I, I'm, I'm too high end for this. You know, flea market stuff. Um, this stuff has been cherry picked and thinned out. It's stuff that's worth dollars, maybe, you know, um, maybe as much as five, you know, but normally what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go anywhere from like one to four dollars at most for the stuff you know but it, it'll be a good deal for me overall and then i got a nice vase i don't know who made it but i'll show that uh i don't know maybe i'll show it after this or before maybe i'll show it at the end you know uh, instead in the beginning just to do it that way but yeah so anyway that was the showcase I'll, i'm also after this i'm going to show how i did for the year i'll do my numbers you know my totals and uh yeah that's it and then now we're in like Anything else? I showed some of the showcases. I showed a little bit. Anything else about uh, today or now? All right. All right. I guess that's it. Hang out if you want or if I have any more to this video where I show what I picked up today unless I put it in the front of the video. Goodbye.